Hi there, everyone. Today we are going to be um, making this Galaxy uh, image logo here. Um, this has been getting quite popular uh, around the internet and stuff like that. I just wanted to show you guys how to do this uh, inside of GIMP. Um, there will be a couple images, uh, or well, actually, yeah, two images. It will be the Galaxy one and the image of the woman here um if you guys want to use these if not you could use them any image you want i got them all from pixabay so let's go ahead and get started we're going to go to file i'm going to open up a new file 1920 by 1080 press ok the color that i am going to um be using for the background is going to be this gray color here it is 4d 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 and I'm just going to drag and drop this on top of the background here. I'm going to go ahead and go to File. And I'm going to... Actually, let's not do that. I'm just going to go ahead and drop these images in from the um, file location. So I'm just going to drag and drop them in here. And I'm going to turn off the sky one. And I'm going to click on the girl one. And I'm going to go ahead and zoom out here some because this is a very large image so i'm going to press shift t on my keyboard to bring up the scale tool and i'm just going to scale this down here and bring it in on our image and scale it down a little bit more and that seems to be fine i'm going to leave this a little bit bigger for now just so uh, we can see things better and i'm just going to press scale just like that and let it scale real fast and then I'm going to go ahead and zoom in here some more on the image. Now, this image right here is a really uh, easy image to get this um, kind of black and white effect here. We're just going to go um, into colors and we're going to go to threshold. And as you can see, um, just by the standard threshold here, we get a pretty good result. But I'm going to go ahead and move it in just a little bit more just a tiny little bit just to get it a little bit darker and let's see maybe just a tad bit more here and get a little bit of the outline and make sure that we get a lot of the hair in here let's see that looks pretty good to me and just going to go ahead and click on OK just like that we're going to put this layer on multiply just like that and now you'll see that get the image on this gray background here and this saves from us having to go through and take the pen tool and cut this image out and stuff like that so let's go ahead and let's du duplicate this layer here maybe if i could grab it there we go and let's go ahead and duplicate it duplicate there we go and let's go ahead and grab this sky background let's go ahead and turn it on let's go ahead and duplicate this also let's turn off the duplicate layers and let's go ahead and let's set this sky here let's go ahead and set this mode on screen just like that and let's go ahead and let's create a layer mask so let's right click right click and create add layer mask and let's do full white full opacity and let's go ahead and come over here and let's change our brushes to black and white let's grab a paintbrush and let's make sure that we have a soft brush selected and then let me make sure that my size i'm going to drag my tool options off here because i'm using my pen and let's just go ahead and make this a pretty big size and let's go ahead and let's just start coloring out this background here. One thing that I hope that um, GIMP gets in the future, uh, I know this is a touchy subject with a lot of people about Photoshop and GIMP, but um, I would like to see GIMP get some kind of clipping masks like Photoshop has and to my knowledge there is nothing out there um, 
that's like the Photoshop's clipping mask because that's all we would have to do for this is just add a clipping mask and call it good but that's okay we'll just go ahead and come through here and mask this out and I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in here and I'm going to lower my brush size and all I'm gonna do is just go in here and make sure that all the black has the stars inside of it and try to take out um, as much of it on the inside as I can so I'm gonna go ahead and speed this process up here and uh, I will be back. All right, guys, I am back for a quick second. Um, what I'm going to do is if you guys want to see what it kind of looks like um, with this, with the gradient in the background, we're going to go ahead and Let's switch our colors to this gray and white here. And let's grab our uh, gradient tool, make sure that the shape's on radial. And let's go ahead and let's just zoom out here. And then let's come up to about maybe here and let's drag out. And let's press Control Z and let's press X on our keyboard to switch these colors around. And then let's go ahead and drag out here. And then that way we will see um, it with the gradient and you won't be able to tell um, that it's been masked and it will help uh, you see what you have to mask here. So that's it and I'm going to go ahead and finish masking this out and I'll be right back. Alright everybody, I am back and as you can tell I masked this out. Um, we are going to go ahead and create another mask and we're just going to go ahead and duplicate this sky one more time. Just like that and we're going to right click and create a layer mask. So add white full opacity and we are going to just go ahead and um, Take this image here and turn it on and let's go ahead and bring this one up above here and what we are going to do is we're going to zoom out and we are going to press shift R on our keyboard and I'm going to rotate this um, 180 degrees so 180 just like that and I'm going to click on rotate and we are going to go ahead and put this on screen also just like that and we'll go ahead and zoom back in here and we'll press M on our keyboard to grab our move tool and I am going to move this down to where she has um, some of that red on her head as you can tell over here that's what I did and it kind of gives it a lighting effect from up over here so that's what I'm going to go ahead and do Let's go ahead and move this to about right there. That's fine with me. And now let's go ahead and zoom out. And let's go ahead and click back on our brush tool and make sure this is black and white. And let's go ahead and raise the size up of this here. And let's just go ahead and let's mask all this out here. We don't have to worry about this part down here. We only want the head 
So I just come around here with a soft brush and just mask out around the head. I'm going to come over here to this mask down here and I'm just going to go ahead and clean that off of the head there. Just like that. And then we're going to come back over here and zoom in just like that. And let's go ahead and raise our brush size back down now. And let's just make sure that we come around there with black and let's press X and let's go back to white. And then let's just go ahead and feel this hair back in here. This is a really, really simple effect, but um, it looks really good and really nice. So let's go ahead and let's get some of this stuff off of the arm and stuff here. Press X. Let's go ahead and color this back in on the eyes and the nose here some and the mouth. And let's get this filled in right here. Let's go ahead and zoom out. Let's see how that looks. Let's make sure and we just have this colored in like we want it. Make sure that we are go back on black. Let's make sure that we don't have this overlaying over this. And just like that, and that's pretty simple. Let's go ahead and drag this image of the girl up here. Let's go ahead and click on the top. Let's go ahead and create a layer group. Let's go ahead and group these together. And let's go ahead and put this back on multiply. I'm going to use my arrow buttons just to bring that down to multiply. Just like that. But that is good there. I wanted to create this layer group. That way it's just easier to go ahead and make things smaller. So what we're going to do is press shift T. And let's go ahead and bring this image down in size here. And let's go ahead and... Do something like that. Let's press enter to scale it down. And that looks pretty good to me. So now let's go up to image and let's go to guides. New guide by percent, horizontal 50%. Uh, and then let's go back up here and let's do it one more time for the vertical. Just like that and press OK. Now let's press M on our keyboard to grab the move tool. And let's just kind of line that image up. That's not in the middle. So about, say about right here is the middle. Let's go ahead and put our color back on that gray. Press OK. Let's go ahead and grab our text tool. And let's click here. And you could write anything that you want here. I'm just going to put into the galaxy. Just like that, go ahead and grab our move tool. And let's move this into place here, just like that. Let's grab our text tool again. And then let's click on here. And let's go ahead and double click so it fills that all up. I'm gonna come over here and use, we're gonna use, I'm gonna use Altamonte personal use right here. Just like that and we are going to go ahead and grab our move tool again, just like that. Let's move this. Let's press Shift T on our keyboard and let's scale this down to an appropriate size. Let's press Enter to scale it down. Let's go ahead and zoom in here some. Press M on our keyboard to grab the move tool and just let's lock that into place there. Let's see, let's shift T again and let's lower this down in size just a tad bit more. Press enter. Then on our keyboard for the move tool. And I think that will do here. Let's take this out of this layer group. Just like that. Let's go ahead and take our sky and let's duplicate this. And let's go ahead and put this on top. Let's go ahead and uh, alt click. Alrighty, everybody, I am back, and as you can see, it was glitched out because now I have the selection. Um, sometimes this may happen to you 
and uh, GIMP just glitches out. And the only thing that you could do is just save it and then go ahead and shut GIMP down and restart it and you will see the selection. I'm going to click on this galaxy layer here and I'm going to go ahead and press Control i to invert this selection here. I'm going to press M on my keyboard, grab my move tool, and I'm just going to move this down here into place and I'm going to put this on screen just like that and I kind of want to get maybe this this yellow part of this uh, galaxy here or the yellow part of the stars here and let's go ahead and press delete on our keyboard to delete that and let's press control shift a to deselect now let's go ahead and click on our text here and let's go to layer and let's go to layer effects and let's go to stroke and I'm going to do gradient just like that and there is a gradient um, that I want to use and let's go ahead and pull that up here let's go ahead and find it alright guys I am back I had to look and see um, if the other one that I used if I used some custom um, gradients and um, I didn't so I'm not seeing the one that I used in here before so I'm not sure what's going on um, but anyways the one that we're going to use is this flare size fact 101 and uh, I want this kind of gray color here so let's go ahead and close and let's go ahead and press OK just like that and it's in a layer group so let's go ahead and let's put this on top and let's go ahead and make this overlay or we could do hard light let's see how hard light looks now we'll stick with soft light or overlay so whichever one that you want to use will be fine just like that and now we need to work on the background just a little bit. So let's go ahead and let's grab that gray color again, just like that. And let's go ahead and fill this background back in. And let's go ahead and make this white. And let's grab our gradient tool. Let's put it on radial. And let's go ahead and zoom out here. And we see the light will be coming in from up here so let's kind of try to maybe come at an angle like this and see how it looks it's a little bit too much so let's go ahead and zoom out a little bit and let's maybe do something like that and that looks good to me I'm gonna press M on my keyboard and hold down shift and move these grid lines out of the way here and there you go that's a pretty simple effect and that's all you need to do basically what takes the longest is the masking and that's it but you could do this with any image that you'd like um, like I said this has been getting quite popular over the internet and I'm not sure if you know who it, you guys that's watching my uh, tutorial channel if you guys seen this yet but there's a lot of people out there that's doing this so and the, the most that I've seen, everything that I've seen actually uh, with this being done is in Photoshop. So I wanted to share you, uh, this look with you guys and show you guys how you can go about doing it here inside of GIMP. I hope that you guys like this uh, tutorial. Please like and subscribe for tons more tutorials and have a great day. Thank you.